In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do motion tracking in Premiere Pro with the blur effect following a person's face. So for this tutorial, I picked this dynamic video. And the first thing you want to do is go to your effects and type Gaussian blur. As soon as you find Gaussian blur under video effects, blurs and sharpen effects, go ahead and drag it into your video clip. Now scroll your playhead to the first frame in the video and now under edit controls next to Gaussian blur, go ahead and press this ellipse mask button and your mask will be added to the center of your video clip. Now, all we have to do is adjust this mask over the person's face. I'm not going to be perfect here because it's just a tutorial. Just also make sure to adjust the blurriness level in the effect controls panel over here. Now here you can also adjust mask feather, which is this blurry border around our ellipse. And just go ahead and press on this track selected mask forward button. Now, Premiere Pro is going to track every single frame, so that's going to take a while. But basically, it's going to calculate the position of our blur on every frame. Now, to see our blur effect follow a moving face, all you have to do is play the video and you'll see our motion tracker at work. Now, in some cases, the results will not be perfect. That's because your mask is not close enough around the object you're trying to track. And some cases are just difficult to do automatically, in which case you might want to use keyframes and move the mask to the intended area with your mouse yourself. But in most cases, pretty much this is the workflow for blurring faces and other things like license plates and make them follow the moving object in Premiere Pro. 